There's nothing like coming home, and for Rebecca Legere, that's particularly true. Legere is a dancer and choreographer from Halifax, but she now has her own dance company based in New York. But she spent the last two weeks here, sharing some of what she's learned with dancers in her own hometown. Rebecca Legere is home for a visit, and she's brought some friends, her own dance company from New York. They have packed their bags to come here to Nova Scotia to be part of Legere's two-week residency program. Born and raised in Halifax, Legere grew up dancing. I began at one studio here in Halifax, and then slowly I wanted to go to another, so I was going to two at one time, and then adding and adding and adding until it became such a part of my life that I never guessed it wouldn't be there. Dropping in the hips, five, six, coming up seven. Legere's early dance experiences focused on ballet. She went to the Royal Winnipeg Ballet School, but modern dance would become her passion. Five, six, let it Modern was about freedom of expression. It was about discovery. It was about risk taking. It was about trying new things. Those things really appealed to me, whereas the dancing in ballet appealed to me, but it didn't have that. And so the young dancer from Halifax found herself at New York's famous Juilliard School. It's like immersing yourself in a living encyclopedia. It's like immersing yourself in this environment where, where you go to change, there's music always playing, practice rooms filling the halls. Where you go down, you just try to walk down the stairwell and there's people practicing in the stairwell because they've run out of music rooms. You know, you go into your dance studio and there's actors practicing their monologues. So this sense of being surrounded by the work is really amazing. But everybody, take a moment to surprise yourself on that promenade. I was thinking about this. Legere dance wanted to do more than fast, dance. Fast, she wanted catching, creative catching, control. Catching. So she wanted to be a choreographer. To that at the same time. When I close uh, my eyes, I see dance. And I see it happening on me, but I see it happening on stage. So it's a different way of thinking. It's a different way of seeing. Because from dance, you're seeing from the inside out. As a choreographer, you have to be able to step back and see the whole picture, yet understand what's going on from the inside out. Legere's work has garnered a growing body of critical acclaim, including positive reviews in the New York Times and backstage. Her work has taken her to cities across the US and even to Istanbul. And now she's come back to Halifax to teach and perform for a couple of weeks. I've never thought I would not come back. It's always been part of my idea of how I'm going to work within the dance world, that I want to, this is one of my bases, and that I would love to build this continual coming back. For local dancers, the chance to learn from Legere is described as amazing. It's like she's training an entire body as opposed to sort of like you work, you know, with one leg and you work with the other leg, you know, sort of more traditional sense. She's actually using every part of every bit of your body at every moment of every exercise. She has such a um, vast teaching array, but plus our company members are in class with us. So that opportunity itself, we get to get information from them, from watching them. Um, here we're also, we're also peers in the class. So like the energy coming from it is so amazing and so positive. And if all goes according to Legere's plan, she'll be back in Halifax again one day to share her unique brand of modern dance. It's that giving opportunity to people who might not see it. It's that if there's someone who was like me, who hadn't seen something, but did, this is the avenue they do want to explore, maybe they'll be able to see something earlier or just at a different time and place. And Rebecca Legere and dancers will be performing at Dance Space on, Gra on Grafton in Halifax at 8 p.m. this Saturday and Sunday night. That's June 9th and 10th, so catch.